All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean over the top, beautiful day here in the end times, in the former paradise, the former paradise, and now hell hole of Ocala, Florida. I have had this rant. This is at least the fourth year in a row. I've had, I had this rant every year. Miraculously, I have been here since November, and I have, this is the first time I have had this absolute fucking descent into hell inflicted upon me. So anyone who has never heard my Highway 200 to Hell rant, uh, or if you just want to hear it again, here we fucking go. For the fourth time in as many years, Highway 200 heading southwest out of uh, Ocala, Florida is ground zero for everything that is wrong with the shithole state of Florida. This, this is the embodiment of the fucking, it's the embodiment of clueless fucking morons, the embodiment of an absolute collapse of a planet. All right, so last year, this was a vacant lot, but oh well, they just can't leave it alone. We seem to have another strip mall. It's unbelievable that there are, there is one patch of woods remaining on this entire fucking road. So here, I do not believe it. This is what, uh, and of course it's for sale. There's 8.5 acres, zone commercial. Here's the AT&T cell phone store. Uh, I am quite sure that every last postage stamp of uh, this beautiful country road that remains in 2022 is uh, under the gun. Uh, here is another one with the for sale sign on it. Uh, every bit of this is going to be fucking strip malls, Walmarts. Uh, this isn't residential, so it's not going to be condos. Uh, well, unless it's set back off the road. But uh, this bullshit. Now this is a, uh, out here is a retention pond. So uh, that's the hospital. Here is the big hospital. Uh, all of that's a retention pond. So at least uh, that will not be built on. And uh, what, so what this is, it, it now 200, it's a six lane, a six lane highway. Uh, you, you know, if there's left turn lanes. Uh, so essentially an eight lane highway. Uh, you know, I used to come down this, I've been coming down this road pretty much for 60 years. I'm 62 and we came down here on our family vacation every year from Atlanta. And I have watched over the years this absolutely beautiful uh, little country road in central Florida just get obliterated. This was uh, Highway 200. It, it went through the heart of the uh, thoroughbred horse uh, ranches. They still have, like over here on this shopping center, they still have the old fences, you know, these beautiful uh, wood slat and split rail fences that uh, went on for miles and miles of these uh, racehorse farms. It was racehorse farms and, you know, with these gorgeous, I mean, 
it, you know, just absolutely magnificent, uh, giant grandfather live oaks, these beautiful trees. Uh, it, you know, just outrageous, these giant uh, live oaks uh, that used to line this street. You get a little idea of those oak trees. Right, so here is one piece of land un fucking believable without a for sale sign on it. This landowner here, there's probably 40 of those absolutely beautiful shady oak trees right next to the CarMax. And this fucking shit, uh, it goes on and on and on and on and on. Fucking VW, here's the uh, BMW, here is, I don't even know, Peugeot, I believe. Uh, all these clueless fucking morons. Uh, all right, we have another patch of woods. I don't believe it, one patch of woods. fucking medical offices and I, I, I mean I don't know if you can see the traffic I mean in both directions in both fucking directions uh, the traffic backed up at all these goddamn lights I'm thinking there's 19 traffic lights here uh, on uh, the highway to hill uh, this little trailer park, I probably remember this trailer park uh, from when I was a kid. This one little vestige of, uh, this was the first cancer to uh, spread out over all of these uh, beautiful horse farms where these, uh, it started out with these goddamn trailer parks. And this isn't a bad looking one. This is uh, probably mostly snowbirds in this trailer park. Uh, so it started out with that. Uh, and then probably, I'm guessing, in the 1970s. All right, we still have, this is, I believe, this is the last existing uh, horse farm. Uh, left on 200 over here. Uh, I see there's no horses grazing now uh, But this is uh, You can't see much of it looking over six lanes of traffic But this uh, is what this road used to look like was going through <clears throat> You know about this is on the way to Inverness you went through about 15 miles of these beautiful horse farms and those giant trees. Unfucking believably that that farm. But there's no ah there there is the for sale sign. So of course, and I'm 90 percent sure is the last uh, one of these uh, racehorse farms. There's the fucking. Uh, there's the fucking real estate sign. So this uh, will be going up in, in a goddamn, it's uh, probably a fucking Walmart or Target or, you know, all the usual suspects. You know, it looks like the farm has already been sold. The uh, horses have been moved off. And there's the fucking real estate sign. Free the people of America. There you go. We have the Walgreens on one corner, the CVS on the other corner. The homeless people holding a sign. Free the people of America. How about free the fucking people of Central Florida from all of this crap? I mean, good fucking God. This is what happens when you don't have zoning laws.
this is what it looks like. This uh, urban fucking sprawl from hell. And then when you when you get to the very end of this, you know, the last thing you pass is the Walmart. Uh, this is where they're talking about extending the fucking Florida Turnpike, which, you know, I think they built that about 50 years ago, and now they have it in their goddamn heads. They're going to take the motherfucking Florida Turnpike, <clears throat> You know, as soon as you start getting into the old Florida, they're going to ram the Florida Turnpike extension uh, through all of that beautiful farmland and filling in wetlands. And I think it's going right through the middle of a goddamn state forest. And it's all going to tie in uh, with the West Coast Highway and bring all of that fucking bullshit uh, to the piece of the only piece of the coastal Florida that has not been fucking destroyed. Uh, this shit. They're talking about bringing the fucking turnpike uh, across. Then they're talking about finishing up this fucking. Uh, toll road from the turnpikes to toll road, bringing up this other toll road uh, from Tampa, all tying in together on uh, what right now is uh, called the Nature Coast. And you're going to watch the fucking Nature Coast become the clueless fucking moron coast, which is why. I'm probably going to buy uh, an acre lot uh, over there where all of this shit is happening. Uh, but I'm not quite sure if the, if the lot that I'm looking at is going to be right directly in, in the path of one of these fucking tollways from hell. Uh, what you want, of course, is your fucking uh, acre lot to be about, uh, you, you, you know, uh, you want it uh, about five to ten minutes away from the uh, the fucking uh, toll road from hell uh, interchanges. Uh, oh shit, this Publix truck reminds me, uh, as long as I'm going past a Publix supermarket, I need to stop in and buy a few items. Uh, as long as long as I'm uh, going down the fucking road to hell, I might as well go to fucking to the fucking supermarket. And you know why I'm here? That's why they fucking built it. It is for clueless fucking morons to uh to shop there. So uh now I just got to remember where they stuck the fucking Publix in the middle of all this. I'm probably flying past it. I think there's the second Walgreens drugstore in about a mile. Okay, there's Publix shit. So anyway, I better uh, watch my driving here at uh alright stop in at Chase Bank and activate my fucking debit card so I'm trying it with four debit cards this year in New York I'm gonna see uh with four debit cards whether I can use a fucking debit card in the city of Ithaca New York uh, I understand that Chase, while it does not have a bank in Ithaca, they still at least have ATM. So maybe with four different bank debit cards, uh, I, I can uh, go to a fucking ATM in the city of Ithaca, New York to get fucking cash out of an ATM. But right now... I got to be a happy little cons I mean, look at this shit, guys. This is a fucking 
here's the golf cart parking all of this is golf cart parking which I kind of like the golf cart parking so so many people are out there so what this is this is an average it's three o'clock on a fucking Monday afternoon at the uh, at, at the goddamn supermarket look at this it goes on and on and on and on and on let me uh back around I um, mean this this is an average fucking uh, Monday afternoon at one goddamn uh, supermarket uh, you know in the suburbs of a of one small American city Ocala Florida you, you know you take this and you fucking multiply it you know, times a hundred fucking thousand. I mean, look at this fucking shit, people. Look at this shit. <sighs> what do you think, little dog? See, Pop, I'm ready to get home. Good fucking God. I mean, we're so, we, we really are so fucked, people. <sighs> get out there and, uh, go grocery shopping while you still can see if anything is still left on the shelves at Publix supermarket bye guys